Well, I'm heading up to Skull Mountain where I found him all them skulls in the last day. Show you some of the trees are starting to change. You see down in there and stuff. There's bottles even right in there. I'm gonna go up here to the best spots and look all around. Let's see. All right, I'm heading down this mountain. I walked up that road. It's just too hard to walk through the woods all the way up here. Um, I have to walk up a highway. You can see this is straight up and down. And there's, I probed in here a little bit yesterday and I'm pretty sure there's like 30 feet deep of trash here. I think that one of these whole hills is a pile of trash and I thought it was just like a hill on the side of a hill, but it ain't. It's just feet and feet, like all of this right here. I think there's, see, there's bottles sticking out. I think under this dirt, there's bottles like 30 feet thick in here. I think it's just ridiculous how much stuff's here. And farther down the hill, there's even more stuff. But you can see all the stuff sticking out. That's a like sink or something. But I'm going down in here where I found that soda bottle the, other, the last trip. That Kingston, Ohio, when I like it. I'm gonna try to find more of them later. Well, right in here, I just started where I found that bottle and I told you there's old stuff. This would have been like a, oh, it's something a higher. This was a rare one and look at the art. Oh, folks, that sucks. That would have been maybe a lifetime crock. Cause some of these, like these Bearsville ones, you just are not gonna find. If you want one, you ain't gonna find one for sale. You're just not. Um, and that's a rare one there. That is too bad. But I'm up closer to the top of the hill. And to see, that's an older beer. I thought that was embossed when I raked it out. I thought it was a good one, but it's just, it's unembossed. There's older stuff here tucked up in this hill. I'm gonna try to get into a good layer of it and rake out stuff like that. Cause man, fix you just knew. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, this is a cool bottle. Um, I see it here. I can tell what it is by this design on it here. It's a Barks Root beer from like the 40s, but it's fully embossed probably. Yes, it is. This is nice. And it's going to be real nice condition like that other bottle. It's in this loose stuff. This is how I find Crocs, in this loose stuff that's not packed down. Like if this dump wasn't on the side of a hill, and let's say it was out in a lot, like in a town, and there's just a little dump there. Oh, look there. There's a piece of that crock I just found. It all broke right here. This is another piece of the bottom, look. I'll try to keep pieces of it and we'll see what town it is. But this bottle, all of this stuff is gonna be awesome. That's why I dig in Bel Air, Ohio. This is a nice bottle. Um, Dr. Pepper Bottling Company, Bel Air O. That's the home of NFL wide receiver and Ohio State football player, Joey Galloway. Um, he played for the Seahawks and stuff for a while. But that's pretty nice. It's a smaller town. And you know, you'll be hard pressed to find one that has Bel Air on it for sale on the internet. I doubt there's one, but that's pretty cool. Later. Just rake this blue bottle out. It's screw top, but I take all this kind of stuff. It says Bromo Seltzer, and it says the Emerson Drug Company. It's cool enough to take. See, I'm finding ACL cities and stuff in here. And look at all these bottles. And look at this layer with broken Crocs in it. And old blue. That's a old strong shoulder mason air man i'm gonna find something nice but man, i'm really gonna find something nice look at all of these bottles and stuff just loose there's a coke huh this looks like something i don't have yeah akron ohio i don't have that look at them all sticking out right there's a cork that's a cork bottle oh look folks live find embossed oh let me get it Oh, and it's perfect. Oh, fix, I'm on it now. And this is one of, I don't know, 10 dumps I found in the last four days that have stuff like this that I can dig on the rest of my life. 
you can be doing this too. Dr. Miles Medical Company. Slate Aquacast. Just a day maker for me to go on one of my bottle displays. I don't have this, so anytime you can find a bottle you don't have, it's a plus. And I got that other cola. And look at all these crock pieces I'm digging out. I didn't want to waste my footage because I'm going to stay a while today. There's another one. This crock would have been worth a thousand dollars. I think it's a Sardis Ahia crock. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm looking for the face plate, but look at this one. This is a mid, like, 1860s crock. This is Civil War time period. Look at that. Oh, figs. That would have just been a museum quality piece. But finding these that's probably some kind of snuff container it's brown glass like honey color that's worth taking people will buy all of this kind of stuff at flea markets if you clean it up even not cleaned up in box lots um i'm not really selling none of the stuff because there's going to be a point that i can't get this hard and i'm old and i can set at flea markets and just all have houses and buildings full of stuff to sell i'll never run out of inventory and i can just go talk to people and you know, take my animals with me and stuff and just set and BS when I can't look no more. That's the goal. Later. See what I mean on the metal stuff? It's loose and it's on a well-drained hill. You'd never find an old oil lamp part like this. I see guys find these all the time, I'm out detecting. Look at this one. It could be restored and a new wick could put in it. The thing even turns on it. That's why I dig in places like this. Steep, well-drained hills. If you can get on the side of them and find layers, they're loaded. I'm even going to take that. Just, you know, that's old, old, old. Pre-electricity. Somebody probably carried this exact piece on the lamp to an outhouse to go to the bathroom at night. Later. Now, this would have been cool. Look at the ACL on this, and it's like some kind of... I don't know what that is. Ah. Uh, says something American. That would have been a cool piece with the ACLs all off of it. Look, I'm in all kinds of old slate roofing. Look here. There's something blue. Uh, it's just a ACL. I'd say that is a, uh, and there's something. Oh, oh, what's this? This feels broke, but man, this feels like, yeah, see, that's an old beer with one of the, wire cappers on top i'm gonna find something nice i'll turn this off and get back i'm gonna cave this in and get a nice hole going and see what's really here all right i turn this on there's bottles sticking out well there's bottles sticking out all the time but some of them have promise ah that's an art deco seda but it's break there's more stuff back in there see there's just bottles sliding out everywhere That was old, whatever that was. I'm not seeing marbles like I want to, but I'm finding bottles and stuff, so it didn't really matter. That looks like it might have some promise. I don't think it's old enough. I raked back through this stuff several times for the marbles. See how loose and dry the soil is? The marbles pop right now, I see them. I'm not missing many of them because I go back and rake through the stuff again sometimes and I never find any. Oh, look at that. There's a moonshine jug made out of crockery. Would have been a day maker. Well, more than that. I'm not going to waste any more of this. Um, that bottle's going to take a while to get out. It looks like something nice. I'll just show you when I get it out of there. Um, there's just stuff everywhere in here. I'm going to find more stuff. It's just a matter of time. There's so many bottles of all ages in here. It's just ridiculous. See, there's a hair care product, an old one. Well, anyway, later, I'll get back. Right, here's an extremely good Sistersville, West Virginia soda bottle. Um, I find these a lot, but I don't find them with the embossing on the metal. And hopefully this says, yep, Coca-Cola. Art Deco, 
Coca-Cola Bottling Works. And then on the bottle down here, it has the town name, Sistersville, S-I-S-T-E-R-S-V-I-L-L-E, W-V-A, West Virginia. And this is Frank Keeney. It's spelled like K-U-E-N-E -E and Sons Brewing Company. And this is a like 1940s, around World War II, Coca-Cola bottle. I have like maybe a dozen of these in my collection, an overfill I give to a guy to sell, and they always sell for 20 plus dollars. So these are good bottles. When have you seen this Coca-Cola bottle with Sistersville on it? Here's another one of these Art Deco sodas. Oh, look, I didn't think it was embossed. It's another one. This is like 40 bucks worth of bottles for both of these, minimum. And they're just, oh, there's no case wear on them. Oh, right. Coca-Cola Bottling Works, Sistersville, West Virginia. These are good bottles because they say Coca-Cola on them and the town name there. And they're from the 1940s. Wow. Wait. All right, this bottle right here has some promise. I don't know what it is, but it's got ridges on it. It looks kind of cool and it's square. Let me get it out and I'll show you. Um, let me keep this on real quick. Here, see if I can't just pop it out here live. There's just stuff everywhere on this hill. I mean, everywhere. Look at these seams going up this hill. Gotta watch I don't break it. might be a mason jar it is it's a ball perfect mason huh take it later man that stinks that's broke that's like a pewter horse or something man that's old later yeah, there's the rest of that metal horse it's all beat up but that's pretty cool and look at this big green thing sticking out. I'd say this is a newer soda bottle. It is. It's like one of them new deposit ones, but it's green. Still got the cap on it. Seven up. Jeez. See, there's new stuff just mixed in. The old stuff's down in there. I'm following the scene. Nice little perfume bottle. Be a lot nicer if it was like blue glass, but I'm gonna take that. Somebody will want that in a box lot. Right there's an aqua bottle stuff got exposed. It looks like it might be all right. But you can see all the digging I do. I hammer it. Move that big, like, I don't know if that's a washer or some kind of boiler, tore it out of there, find bottles behind it. But I got one sticking out here. It looks decent. Let me put this on my head. See if I can't extract it here. Huh. Some kind of metal clip like to be finding more marbles today found some the first day i was here and really haven't got on to too much since that's probably gonna come out i've been finding all kinds of lids and stuff what are the odds that's unembossed that's an old aqua beer and it's just not embossed man that's an old one that's pre-prohibition Stinks that don't have nothing on it. Well, hopefully I can get another one that is. That looks like a quart wine, but this looks like a soda. Look at this. Let's see if I can't get this out. Oh, it's in there tight. Let me get these bricks and stuff away from it. There's lots of stuff in this dump. Man, that's a soda. Oh, it's got stuff all over it, it looks like. Yeah, that might be a Pepsi. Hold on. I thought it was something better. Yeah, it's just one of them Pepsi. You know, I have to clean this out. I'll get back here in a second. Look at this little vase. It's got a Chinese dragon on it. It's all there. Nice display piece. It's got like a dragon, see it? Wow. Probably some pre-war Japan piece. I like that. 
Alright, I'm getting out of here. I got them two nice Coke bottles, that medical bottle, and some other stuff. I've been looking around in here for a while. Now, there's a lid I was going to take, make sure there's no other, there's another. That one's borderline. Yeah, I was going to take that bottle too. But, I got a few things. It's always worth the trip and you can see the piles of crocs. I dug out all kinds of broken crocs. Some of them would have been beautiful. Look at this one. It's a Greensboro, Pennsylvania. Hamilton and, J and Jones right here would have been, you know, three, four hundred dollar croc. There's just lots of pieces. I went, did test pits there, test pits all the way up see there. I raked all this today. It's horrible hard work, but I'm finding stuff and it's worth it. There's just all kinds of stuff that's borderline to take. All kinds of like sisters those soda bottles. If I can find them Coke bottles here, it, it is worth it. Um, I'm gonna get back on my next time. I'll probably just put this on. I'll clean up them Coke bottles and put a little history on them on the video and work a little bit. See on you know the history of the items on this one there's a green square thing it would look great with a cap on it and a new label on it there's just so many things you can do here and look at this see there's an old cork top beer that's you know that's old old it's busted i'm gonna lock on to something good here a lot of the stuff's broke but that doesn't matter there's still whole stuff here and if you work hard you're gonna find it well, I'm gonna get out of this place. I don't even know how I'm really gonna get up out of here. See, there's another croc, it's heartbreaking. Uh, probably huh, go up this way maybe, try to get out of here. I will get back on my next hunt, folks. You can see I'm way out in the woods. I gotta walk ahead of me. Thanks for watching. Later. All right, I'll give you, I've been on this hill here. That hill over there, this road I'm standing on whips around and goes over there around that hill. I'll be over on the side of that hill, all the way around that hill, going way in that direction for the next six months, walking all of this. I'll be over all of it, and I'll be looking for Indian sites on all these points. We're not far off the Ohio River, so there could be been huge encampments on these hills. I'll be looking for that stuff too. The leaves will be off the ground here in another couple months. There'll be bare spots and I'll be able to see flint flakes and fire rock. Hopefully we can luck onto a site, but you can see how much the the leaves are changing. But anyway, that'll be it on this one. Thanks for watching, folks. Hey, here's a couple of the bottles from this video. This is Dr. Miles Medical Company's got like a slate aqua color to it. It's perfect. It's a nice bottle. Real nice condition going right into my personal collection then I got this you can see it's an Art Deco Coca-Cola bottling works Sistersville West Virginia and it is from 1939 and it is an eight fluid ounce bottle and these have some value and I found two of them you can see how nice it is it's really nice condition with strong embossing both of these bottles are beautiful well, anyway, folks, appreciate you watching, and I'll get out on my next series of hunts here in a day or two. Get the video on in a day or two. Later.
Thank you.